Let's head for the airport. I don't see anything special about it. That critter's too far away. Good old Mother Nature. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Let's look around. Okay. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhard, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim Mayan Indians built it. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the Lost Dialogue of Plato. The Gluteus Maximus. Gluteus Maximus! <laughs> Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Well, now. Let me guess. Hey! Yes? You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug, eh? I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself. But old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? 
Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. You actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Plato! Well, at least you're an honest man. Twenty-three skidoo. And pilot two. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Echo. Echo. Caribou. And pilot two. Title? Hermocrates, a friend of Socrates. Well now, let me guess. Hey. Yes? You simply must possess a genuine Tikal floaty pen. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it. Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Looks like it could use a nose. I can't move it. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Professor. Yes? So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Professor. Yes? What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt? Professor? Yes? Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you.
Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. It's a lamp filled with kerosene. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable! Now I got it. Marvelous! It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing! Look at that! Astonishing! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone! At last I have the thing! Goodbye, fellow seekers! Wait! Oh no, he got away! Too bad for Sternhardt, he missed the orichalcum bead. Who knows, maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Let's find the airport. This is his house? This is it. Mr. Costa? Pipe down, I'm coming. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. bathroom in there I can use? Yes and no. Now go away. Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? I hear you know something about Atlantis. Ha! Wouldn't tell you if I did. 
come on, I'm a fellow believer. Is that right? Do you know where Atlantis is? Actually, I'm trying to find out. Hmm. Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. You're standing on it. The Azores? No one believes me. That hurts. I don't want to hear a word. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? I don't want to hear a word. Excuse me. Yes? How'd we get mixed up with this screwball? The screwball in Iceland, remember? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Mr. Costa! Keep your shirt on! He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia, a renowned psychic? I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. He just has to learn to be more tactful. You said it. He's ruder than I am. How can I help you? What can you tell us about Atlantis? I already told your friend. This is Atlantis. You found it right here in the Azores. What happened to the Atlanteans? Well, they had a run of bad luck, demons and devils, and they left. However, their spirits have personally told me it was mostly bad luck. So you talk to these Atlantean spirits? All the time. They've got me collecting their material things so they can come back to Earth. What led you to place Atlantis in the Azores? I didn't place anything. It's just the facts, ma'am. Plato's lost dialogue spelled it out in plain Greek. What's in this lost dialogue you mentioned? Why, it's the last word on Atlantis, young lady. Do you have it? Nope. Have you read it? Nope. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. Interesting character. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder?
Indy. Yes. Follow me, Indy. What? Where? Quit fooling around, Sophia. We're wasting time. Let's get out of here. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. I can't move it. It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. It's a bronze coil. Let's head for the airport. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Sprague Collection, got that? I think so, the Sprague Collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Sprague Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Sprague Collection. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. Colonel, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this... prehistoric knick-knack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plate or called Ore Calcum! Look here. Concealed in the base is this small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire! Exactly as Plato described! It's my guess we've found the treasure we seek. I never guess! We must test! My God! We've done it! 
the energy of uranium without any radioactivity. And those smart American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Colonel. Think big like the American. Think of bomb. So why are you dragging me in here? This is Caswell Hall. We store all our junk here. You think Plato's Lost Dialogue is junk? I believe it's as real as Atlantis. All right, Mr. Cynic, start searching. I'll meet you in your office. It says, we'll trade K and E slide rule for FADA radio. It says, for sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. It says, for sale, Woodstock typewriter with floating carriage, 50 bucks. It says, Edward Teller, phone home. It says, for sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. It's a hole leading to the attic. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil.
an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. It sure is gooey. I can't move it. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? I can't lift the lid. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. The chest is empty. I don't think that'll work. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. There's nothing of importance here. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. It's much too heavy to carry. It's much too heavy to carry. It's made out of wax. It's already closed. The wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. 
the lost dialogue of Plato. Thank you.